Hey everyone, it's Adam. I hope everyone's been having a good summer and that you're continuing to find success using MixEffect in your video productions. A new version of MixEffect and MixEffect Pro is now out. Here's what's new, improved, and fixed in the 1.66 release. First up is audio. I fixed a bug with split audio sources on ATEM switchers that support Fairlight Audio. So you'll no longer see a blank area in the audio section when you have a split audio. And for users of Video Follows Audio, you may have experienced a bug where it looks like you've configured your VFA source properly, but in fact, no source had been defined. Now, when you go look and change program source to, you'll see choose if it's blank. And then you can just select the one that you want and it'll be right there. Now, there's a few new settings in Mix Effect. The first up is loop, fill, and clips in the media player right here. And what that does is if you're in the media player or the media player panel, you can press the command plus and command minus buttons to go to the advance to the next and previous one. If you have the toggle enabled and you're at the first one, going there will go to the last one. Conversely, if you're at the very end and you hit next clip, it'll jump all the way up to the front. So this is really useful if you just want to cycle through all your video clips. The next preference is always open to the default section. Now, some people like to run MixEffect in a kiosk mode where they only want to have MixEffect open to a particular section like the switcher. And so what this does is it sets MixEffect to always open to that section, no matter what you do in a disconnect reconnect cycle. So by default, MixEffect remembers the last section you're in. And then when you go uh, disconnect and reconnect, it will just open up to that last section. But if you set this one setting, it will always go to the section you defined here. So in this case, it's switcher. So we switch this over to say super source right here and I'll say save and I will disconnect. Okay. And then I'm going to reconnect. It will jump you straight to the super source section. Now I'm going to switch this back because I happen to like going to the switcher section personally. Right. The next setting is hide update banner. So if you don't want to see the blue or green banner that says mix effect is an updated or a new version is available, you can tap that checkbox right there. There's a couple of new shortcuts. I've added a get all auxiliary outputs, which will return each auxiliary output uh, on your ATEM and you can query them for the status of the auxiliary outputs. Also added an is fade to black state or is fade to black. So you can query the state of the fade to black transition on your ATEM. Now for SuperSource, I have some exciting things here. So the most important thing is the um, art preview. So with this, you can actually specify a URL right here. This is an unsplash image, and it will display that in this preview area here. So if you happen to set your SuperSource to a particular um, uh, graphic, you can just now move your boxes in place. So I'm gonna move this in place, and it might look a little weird because we're doing it live. But here's my super source. So if I wanted to like align it um, there, you could do that. Now, in this particular example, um, I think my super source art is already being used uh, for the foreground. So we're not using this particular image. We're actually using the kind of like the overlay of the iPad. So you do have to get your images right. Um, but this is actually an interest, a nice way to, if you do have a super source graphic that you use all the time, you can just kind of overlay that. In right into the preview area there. And the second thing that I did was very simple. I just removed the little presets label right there so you can get a little bit more space. Those are all the features in Mix Effect 1.6.6. Now, iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 are right around the corner. Apple is going to be introducing the new iPhones this week, and iPadOS 16 is probably coming sometime next month. Now, this version of Mix Effect does work on those uh, new operating systems, but I'm fixing up a release of MixEffect that's dedicated to iOS 16 and iPadOS 16. And the headline feature of it will be background running of MixEffect. That's right. You'll be able to run MixEffect completely in the background through the use of the picture-in-picture -picture feature of iOS and iPadOS. I'm really looking forward to bringing this to MixEffect users. I can't wait to see you start using it. But until then, happy switching!